Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to my channel, Deb Chanel, 48's World, and I am Deb Chanel. Okay, like you didn't know. Alright, okay. But I am off today. I had to take my mom to the doctor. Oh, she has a doctor's appointment today, so I had to take her there. We had lunch, came back, thought I was going to do a YouTube video, a couple of videos to keep me ahead of the game. And that's where we are right now. So hopefully you all are having a fabulous Wednesday. Okay, and getting through your work week, um, or work day I should say, completely unbothered. All right, but we're going to get on into the story. It comes from Madame Manoa. A manure or something like that is French, but y'all know where I'm going with it. Um, and it's stated or titled Nene Leaks takes jab at Kenya's love life. You haven't even been able to keep none of the men that you've ever brought on the show. Okay, I'm like, oh Lord, oh Lord, we are in the war zone, we are in the war room, and we at DEF CON 3. Okay. DEFCON 3 and 2 is when you don't uh, deploy the ground troops as well as the air troops and they just waiting for orders to hit that DEFCON 1, one and that's like Armageddon. That's just like nuclear wars already been charted to where they're already going to be targeted to and we don't push that button, okay? And we just waiting for the aftermath. So they are both at DEFCON 3. Okay, technically DEFCON 5 is B, because it goes up from 1 to 5 or 5 to 1. 5 being the safe mode, everything's cool, everything's closer, everybody on the same type of agreements to be at peace with one another to a certain degree. That's DEFCON 5. When you don't reach 3, oh child, we finna get ready to be dispersing you know everything we need to go to war with okay all our teams are in check it, they have their gear and we just going on into war okay and let hell let hell let hell we have anything left the remnants we can just start back making a new future or whatnot behind a Kenya more and then at least they at defcon 3 they just going at it Add it, add it, add it, add it. So every time I talk about the Real Housewives of Atlanta now, and whenever we come back with Merit to Medicine, because right now they finished with season, I think with seven, so they'll be back with season eight. And they got a little shake up on their cast. Three of their cast members, from what I hear on them streets from other bloggers, are definitely not going to be coming back. So I, that'll be another video. Hopefully y'all will get it Saturday. Or whatnot so just stay tuned keep your notification bells ringing so you will know when that video drops to go see it okay but yeah we're gonna be talking about Nene Leakes and um 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 Kenya Moore and they seem like untimely unfinished business that they have with one another and I guess it's gonna be to the death of both of them meaning it's only gonna be one person standing as the HBIC and they both are claiming it, so we just have to go through, sift through all the bullshit, all the mess, all the claims to fame, too. There's one person standing that wants to claim to be the head HBIC of this Real Housewives of Atlanta show. But let's get on in to see what Madame Menor is trying to give us as a reference to what we will probably see in the future of Kenya Moore and Nene Leakes' feud. Um, we have Victoria over there uh, banging out this salacious story on um, Madame Menor's, um, what do you call it, blogging site or um, website because it is from MadameMenor.com, okay? But anyway, like I said, the title read, Nini takes jab at Kenya's love life. You haven't even been able to keep none of the men that you've ever brought on the show. All right, going into the article, it says, while many have had plenty to say about Mealy, which is another word of saying Nene, that was caused because of Snake Gate on the latest episode of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. You know people were waiting to hear from Nene Lee's. Of course we were. We, had, we were ready, ready to hear from her when the show was being aired. Okay, which is last Sunday, if we can take that claim to fame, which was Sunday the 12th. She didn't really say anything 
then she didn't say anything up to this point so let's see what she got to say now all right not in that article just my sidebar okay it says on the episode of snake by and everyone's attempt to figure out who was behind the alleged recording of cynthia bailey stalking out her former friend nini and cynthia's frustration about it tempers ended up flaring up at one point, while Nene is trying to keep Cynthia from leaving, Kenya Moore tells her that she should have spoken up about who was behind the alleged audio when she had the chance. And that's true enough, because when they were congregated together in Marlo's little suite of a hotel room, uh, Cynthia just asked her out front, you know, when everybody was being quiet, Nene, who taped me? Who did the audio? Who is the snake in amongst our group? And we were all here. We were listening just like they like, go on and tell her, Nanny, go on, go on and tell her, honey. Because we do have footage, okay? We do have some footage um, that suggests you do know or the person that you were leaning on for some understanding had someone or she said she had receipts. Um, that was Eva, not Eva, Lord, that was Yovana, okay? But we see how that ended up as not being a story, not lying or anything coming from there. That was a bit of the truth. But she didn't say nothing. She wanted to play the game like she wanted to keep this snake gate going. Hell, we didn't want to hear about the snake gate no more. I didn't. And I sure didn't want to be talking about it today. But, hey, it was an article that I found that I need to bring to my family and we get some clarification on it. We divulge, we talk about it and see what clear thinking minds can come up with. Okay. So, uh, no, Nene didn't give us nothing. She didn't budge or any of that. So, and then when Nene went in her confessional, she even sat up there and said, why should I tell Cynthia? She didn't tell me what I wanted to know. And she was going back to that Sigmund's party invite that everybody got invited to and she didn't want to come and she knew her arch nemesis king Moore was going to be there but cynthia did not give her heads up so that's why nene is mad and still keep poking the bell which is cynthia on this alleged thing that oh we have audio one of our friends in our circles or two people or a person we both talk with from time to time honey they got you talking about me audio recording whatever okay it was supposed to have been some tea, but of course the tea never got made. The water was never uh, brewing anywhere on nobody's stove or microwave, honey. It was just false, false, fake, fraudulent, foolery, fuckery they gave us, okay? My four elves back in charge, all right? But anyway, going back to the article, because that's what it it was my sidebar. Uh, Nene's uh, sick and tired of Kenya at that point told her in a more abrasive terms with some cuss words to hush okay when Kenya told her to do the same the next thing we saw was Kenya putting her finger in Nene's face and Nene going off about it the women had to be pulled apart and Nene even tried to follow Kenya to the elevator to set her straight it was ugly so what was that all about that was Nene trying to call herself wanting to either put hands allegedly on Kenya or pretty much get back in Kenya's face where she could throw up her hands and get it close in proximity to almost touching her nose. Okay, it's like right here. And you know, that's some that's personal space. Right here is personal. Okay, all that is personal space. But it was a rule, an unwritten rule, a, a, a verbal rule. I don't know what it was, but Nene was trying to get us to understand in this particular article that it was a rule that you don't get in people's personal space, not the ladies on the group. It was something that was spoken amongst all the women of the group in the cast that we do not get into people's personal space when we're having an argument or we're having a heated discussion and we definitely don't get that close because you might get popped or something to that uh, degree that may happen allegedly now we don't know some people are more on the cooler side of, of holding their head together than others are okay but going back to the article, it said on her YouTube channel, Nene said she snapped because King had no reason to interfere in her conversation with Cynthia. Not only that, she said that there is supposed to be a rule that you can't invade each other's personal space as Kenya did with her finger. She stretches and puts her finger all the way in my face. So let's start 
right there she says so there's a rule but you know the rules don't apply to me that when there's a heated exchange you do not get in people's personal space that's a rule among us especially ever since kenya put the scepter in portia's face it has been a clear rule that when words are being exchanged you stay out of people's personal space when she put her hand all the way in my face listen right over here in between my eyes you know i wasn't going to go for that that's crazy and i believe that's the reason why nini followed her down the hall and pretty much uh kenya had uh, Eva is a little buffer between the two thinking Nene would dare not try to strike her or touch her when she was uh, helping Eva uh, escort Eva on the elevator by Eva being pregnant kind of what in a sense disabled uh, that that was her safety net that that keeps Nene away from her but Nene wasn't trying to get to Eva she wasn't even going to touch Eva now she's going to probably touch you <laughs> Which you have to let Eva go uh, and, and stop thinking she's disabled because you didn't help Eva down there to the event. You weren't helping Eva walk. Uh, you weren't being by her side at any time of the event. So why would you sit up there and want to escort uh, Eva out the hotel room and then escort her to the lobby that led to the elevators for you all to go to y'all separate rooms is beyond me, Kenya. I think you were just scared of Nene, uh, her ways or whatnot. But you just, I mean, if Nene slapped you or, or pushed you to the floor, then that was Nene's career being over. She couldn't do it because it had been documented on film that she put her hands on you. And, you know, she thrust you to the floor or whatever or pushed you to the floor and it was just unnecessary so that would have been her career on the real housewives of Atlanta but you didn't take advantage of it you tried to see the easy way or seek the easy way out by holding on to Eva escorting her out the room thinking you wouldn't be touched okay so that was just my pun intended. We're going to go back to the article. It said, I was just like, listen, this is not cool. She said, so when I ran out the room to say I wanted to talk to her, I kept saying I wanted to talk to her because she's, because they've got to stop doing this. Don't violate me. The rules are the rules. And I'm like, Nene, evidently they did not follow the rules. The rules went out the door. Or it was something you were making up that you all called yourselves agreeing to. I don't know because then nobody else come out after the fact or doing the fact saying those are the rules. You don't break the rules or there's consequences. So I don't know. Was that all in your head, Nene? Let me know. All right. But going back to the article, it says... Um, uh, it says, don't do... the." Don't do that because that's going to get you jacked up, girl, she added. Putting your hand in somebody's face, it had nothing to do with her. I was trying to talk to Cynthia. I wasn't thinking to talk to her at all, so it was just crazy. I was only talking to Cynthia. She didn't have to do that because if I did it, our hair would have broke loose. Nene also cleared the air about a rumor from before the season started where Kenya claimed that she spit on her during their near alter altercation. Footage from Sunday's episode doesn't show that happen, and according to Nene, it never did. Now, that could be positive editing on the spearhead of Nene actually did do it but they just cut it out now i don't know if it's true or not because in the past we did hear that people that were on the set that nene did spit on kenya or tried to spit on her but she uh had cooler heads and decided to swallow the spit or spit into a napkin and discarded it that way but the saliva did not come flying out of her mouth now this was not the particular setting that they were talking about they're talking about uh i think when they have another another altercation towards the ending of season 12 that they'll probably uh let us see it was during a dinner of some sort where all the people were there all the cast members and their husbands were there and something had broke loose i think it was at that um um that night when Kenya and her husband were supposed to be hosting something at the Wimbush house or some kind of old established renovated home that they were having an event there to raise some type it was some type of philanthropy type charity work they were doing and hosting uh 
a night affair to raise money for a good cause or, or whatnot. So I think that was the particular place where Nene probably was allegedly trying to spit on Kenya and then break some more bad news down to her. And it all turned out to be a big, horrible, horrific mess. But that's what I'm thinking it, it was. I don't think it was supposed to be for Snake Gate. But if I'm wrong, my fat checkers will let me know in those comments down below. I am more than sure of that. Okay, but moving back to the article, it said, um... Uh, do I well, since this episode doesn't show that happen like I said and according to Nene it never did do I ever spit on Kenya no why should we why she went and told those lies is again to be malicious and her putting her hand in my face is just a no she said you shouldn't do it and everything Things should be fair for every single one of us. It was clear from her vlog that Nene is fed up with her on-screen nemesis. She took an extra sharp jab at Kenya when she referenced the scene where she tried to comfort Tanya Sam's. The perfect relationship. Okay? I know one thing. Kenya need to worry about her own marriage. This is Nene speaking in this article. Okay? That's what she needs to do. She says, stop worrying about somebody else's marriage and their relationship. Girl, you haven't even been able to keep none of the men that you've ever brought on the the show they're all gone with the wind you should cut it out all right it said yikes it's hard to believe that a certain at certain points nene and kenya were friendly and it's telling uh the viewer to hit the flip for photos of the two from happier peaceful times and to me you know it's a gallery of uh, uh pictures that were taken of both nene and uh kenya moore in happier times or they were happy to film with one another or cordial about filming with one another and they happened to get shots of them smiling laughing and kicking it up together okay but it was a in a group setting type with their other castmates but you know and that was the end of the article itself um but it was just like doggone it you know how many times are we gonna see it before we go to death one Defcon one and all shit break loose like nuclear war. We done lot loaded the missiles and they just spraying. We don't know who gonna come up this Easter night. I'm like, good God, you know what I'm saying? That would be made for TV drama. Not that they would actually die on the scene, but you know that character will definitely be put into question. Like, why are you here? Why do we need you on the show anymore? That's what we're trying to get. Uh, some understanding, some clarification to see who really want this HBIC charge or, or title, self-appointed title, because definitely Bravo haven't put nobody as the HBIC. They're looking at the people as being uh, still established on the show that first began uh, with a, a pilot and promoting of the first episode that was even aired, which was in 2008, up to this point. Now, you can say Nene is the OG. She's been with the um, franchise when it first started, uh, which was 2008. She had a couple of seasons. She was off for whatever reason it is. And, you know, she wanted to reestablish herself back. You had Kenya, who's been here, I think, maybe since 2009, maybe. and Well, not nine, probably... Well, maybe now, 2009 or 10, she was introduced to the cast. And no, no, I take that back because that was season one. So maybe she did come around season five or six. Five or six, I'm thinking, King may have strolled on up in there. She's been a powerhouse to deal with since then. Uh, for the negative, of course, you know. But um, it just is what it is. Do I think these ladies will ever come to an agreement? No, no. The agreement would be for one of them to leave the show. Then the other one will probably make their, their storyline for that one season. And then they will have to get over it then. You see what I'm saying? But that's all I have for this video. Y'all let me know. Now let me know, honey. Who would be the victorious one out of season um, 12 before it ends, would it be Kenya still standing and looking pretty? Or will it be Nene still standing and looking pretty? Well, you know, I don't call her grandmama over here. She done lost her title in 2019 with me towards the end. And she ain't doing too good with getting it back on those uncertain terms. Because she's still not showing me um, OG mentality. She's just like, eh, they did it to me. I'm going to do it to them. Tit for tat. Pro con. You know, I'm like, where are we going with these these two ladies? Where are we going with this? But anyway, y'all get down in them comments. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about 
the uh, article uh, and what it had involved and how these two women are going back and forth. And do you know we are at intimate war or immediate war with these two? Are we on DEFCON 5, meaning peace in the land? Are we at DEFCON 2, finna go to 1 and finna lock up those missiles, put them in their, their cases, and get ready to spray them at will? I don't know. Where are we? Where are we? DEFCON 5 or DEFCON 1? <laughs> But I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and like, like, like my videos, guys. Because if you like my videos, from what I'm told, uh, it gets me in a bigger platform with other people being able to see me. You know, it's all with the algorithms with the YouTube. So if you get a lot of likes, you get a lot of shares, that means your video would go global or more global and people will pick up on you quicker. Uh, they're doing a lot of self-marketing that we do on each video by saying like, comment, subscribe, and share my video. So, yeah, if y'all could do that for me more than normal, share, 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 like, 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 and definitely subscribe. I will appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.